And let's start off with a, a simple example where you are declarer, and let's suppose on opening lead, the opponents lead the four of spades. Dummy's got the ace three two, and you've got the queen six five in your hand. And I hope you can see that this lead gives you a golden opportunity to make two tricks. We'll assume this is no trump, or it could be, um, it's very often the same whether you're in no trump or whether you're in a, uh, a suit contract. And uh, as long as you play low from dummy here, you should be able to make two tricks. One of two things will happen um, if you uh, play low. Either your right-hand opponent will play the king, in which case that promotes your queen, or if they play a lower card like the jack, you can beat it with a queen and make a second trick later on with your ace. So I hope you can see uh, that's a simple way to make guarantee two tricks there. Do interrupt if you have any comments or questions. Let's try a different one. This time um, you've got the queen three two in dummy and they lead the four of spades and you've got the ace ten five. And I've got a poll, first poll of the afternoon. And the question is, what are you going to play from dummy? The queen or are you going to play low? So have a little think about it. And here comes the first poll. What are you going to play from dummy? And most of you have gone for the two of spades, 76%, with 24% going for the queen. And yes, most of you are right here. Um, because you've got honours in both hands, it's rarely right to play second hand high. You may be or you're obviously familiar with the idea of second hand playing low as a defender. Here it's slightly different because as declarer, you can decide what you want to play. But if you, for example, play the queen, um, obviously if it wins a trick, you'll make two tricks. But if it loses, um, if, if your right hand opponent plays the king, and then you beat it with the ace, you now might only make one trick on this layout because you've got the 10 left and that may not make a trick. So it's generally better with honors in both hands um, to play low. So uh, on, on, on this layout, as I was saying, if it goes queen, king, ace, now you probably will only make that one trick with your ace. So it's generally better to play low and let's suppose we um, we play the two. Now, if our right-hand opponent were to play the king here, that would be great. We could win that with the ace. And now we've got the queen. But what should we do if they play the jack? And I've got the second poll for you. Um, so the jack has been played. What are you going to play? Are you going to play the ace or the five here? It's a second poll coming up. What's the right thing to do here? Okay, let me share the results with you. And the majority here, 60% have gone for the five with 40% going for the ace. So let's switch back and see if we can work this out. Well, see what happens if you play low here. If you let them win that one with the jack okay now you will probably only win one trick because what's going to happen if the layout is something like this the jack will win the trick they can continue that suit and now if you play the 10 they'll play the king and um you'll only make one trick because you've got the ace and the queen left or if they carry on with this suit and you play the ace, again, that will be the only trick for you. The, the right thing to do on this hand is beat the jack with the ace. And the reason is that you now are left with the queen and the 10. So the only other honor that is out there is the king. So you will make a second trick now, as long as you beat the jack with the ace. Okay, so, um, sorry, if go back. Yes, go back to that. So now you're guaranteed a second stopper and a second trick. 
but if you play low, you will probably only make one trick. So the, the idea here that most of these hands that we're looking at, the idea is to play low from dummy, but if they play an honor, it's very often right to play uh, an honor of your own here. I'll go on unless you have any questions about that. Here's another one um, that comes up quite a lot, this kind of layout. They lead the five of spades and you've got the king in dummy and the queen six in your own hand. And generally speaking, it's better not to play the king from dummy. Generally better to play low. I mean, a couple of things could happen. One possibility is that your right hand opponent has the ace and plays it. And of course that will give you two tricks in the suit. Or even if they don't, even if they play something like the jack, you can beat that with the queen, um, but you still may make a second trick now if the ace of spades is on your left. In other words, if the layout is something like this, by all means, play low from dummy, beat the jack with the queen, and because the ace is on your left, no matter who leads this suit, you won't lead it yourself, of course, uh, you should make a second trick with your king. So generally speaking, it was good to play low and then uh, rather than, than play the king. I hope you can see on this layout, if you played the king, uh, although that would have won the trick, that might well have been your only trick in that suit because afterwards, if they lead this suit again, your queen would be um, trapped, would fall under the ace. Um, here's another one. Uh, this time we've got the 10-2 in dummy and the ace-jack-3 in our hand. And I've got the next poll for you, which is what you're going to play from dummy, the 10 or the 2. So by a slim majority, most of you have gone for the 10, 53% over 47%. So let's have a look at this. Um, so let's consider what happens if we play the 10. Um, and imagine that when they, we play the 10, they play the queen or the king. Now we can beat this one with the uh, ace, but we will probably now only make one trick, only make that one trick, um, because the jack may now well lose to the king, which is probably going to be on our, on our left. Um, it works out much better on this hand to play low from dummy. So most of you got this one wrong, I'm, I'm afraid. You should play low because you have the 10 in dummy and the jack in your hand. They're equivalent honors. And it's nearly always right to play low in this situation. And what's probably going to happen when you play low is that your right-hand opponent will play the king or the queen. If they do play the queen, for example, what are you going to play from your hand? There's another poll. Are you going to play the ace, the jack, or the three in this situation? Let's have a look at the results. And most of you here have gone for the A, 73%, with 27% going for the three. And most of you are right in this situation. Um, if the queen or the king is played, yes, the right card for you to play is the ace. If you make the mistake of playing a low card, you will probably only win one trick now because they will win the queen. They will continue with the, uh, sorry, let me go back. They will continue with the suit. And now if, for example, you try playing the jack, it will probably lose to the king. Or if you play the ace, that will uh, probably be your only trick. The right way to play this is to play the ace here. Because you have the 10 and the jack left, um, that will guarantee you a second trick. They've got the king, but you have a second trick and a second stopper here, and you can guarantee two tricks if you play this way. So this layout is an important one to remember with the 10 and the jack there. Play low from dummy um, and then beat whatever honor your right-hand opponent plays, and you will make a second trick. 
So especially if you got either any of those questions wrong, do have a look at them again. I'm going to post this video on YouTube and you can look at it again and convince yourself that what I'm saying does seem to be right. Tony, you say it's the same whether it's a suit contract or no Trump. But yeah. if this was a suit contract, you'd be able to rough spades with you emptying dummy. So why why is it the same for no Trump? Okay. And so, I mean, it, it may be the case that if this was a suit contract, it might not make so much difference. Right. Although played this way, um, you will get, even if it's a suit contract, you will get a second, it, you will set up another spade trick for yourself. So that might be, uh, oh, okay. to you to discard something perhaps thank or you it might not make any difference but um but definitely in in no trump uh, this is the case and it may also be the case in a suit contract that it will be to your benefit to have a a, a second trick um so the the basic ideas as i said with equivalent honors in each hand the ten and the jack the cleric should generally play second hand low um and beat anything that any honors that the opponents um, uh, play. Let's have a look at a, a slightly different one. And this time you've got the Jack nine five in dummy and the A seven in your hand. And let's assume this is no Trump. And your first decision is what to play from dummy. Should you play the Jack or should you play a low card? This isn't quite clear cut because it is possible that your opponent on your left has got the king and queen of spades and in that case it might be better to play your jack as your only chance of making a trick but let's suppose you decide to play low and uh, your right hand opponent comes up with the king okay so the last poll I think of the afternoon is what are you going to play so this is, let's say, three no trump. They played the three of spades. You played the five, and they played the king. Are you going to play your ace, or are you going to play your seven? Okay, everyone has answered that. And interestingly, you've gone 50-50. You've got uh, exactly 50% have gone for the ace and 50% have gone for the seven. Well, half of you are right and half of you are wrong. Let's have a think about this. Um, that lead of the three, especially against uh, no Trump, probably means that your opponent on your left has got one or more honours. Um, and they almost certainly have the queen. So they have the queen, presumably, that's their best suit, and they've led away from the queen or some other holding like that. And this time, although sometimes it's a good idea to duck in this situation, this is not one of them. Because if you play your ace, you are now protecting your jack of spades. Imagine the queen of spades is on your left, which we think it is on this layout, then it's very likely um, that you're going to prevent them making, you'll make a second trick have a, and have a second stopper in the suit if you play the ace now. Um, so if the layout is something like this, so you played the five, the king lost to the ace, now whoever, whichever opponent leads this suit again, whether it's your left or right-hand opponent, you're going to make a trick with the jack because the queen is on your left, the jack should always make a trick. Um, if you played low, let's just see what would happen. If you let the king win the trick, um, then they will win the trick with the king. They will presumably continue this suit. Your ace will fall. And now that will be your only trick. And now whoever gets in again later on will be able to play another spade and your jack won't make a trick. So it was very important there to beat the king with the ace. And if you just think about the likely layout, I hope it will, you know, you'll realize that it's very likely that your opponent on your left has led their fourth highest spade. And therefore your jack of spades is now protected 
but you must beat the king with the ace for that to work. Any comment on that? So that's a generally a summary of what we've been looking at. With honors in both hands, it's often right for declarer to play second hand low, uh, and it's often right to cover an honor with an honor as declarer. The, in some ways, those are very similar rules to the rules that we follow when we're defending. Um, although as declarer, it's sometimes easier because you can see both hands. Um, I just wanted to just uh, switch to look at some actual hands. The last time I covered this topic, um, we uh, we played a hand. This is one of the hands we, we played. And as you can see, um, this was a hand where everyone played it in three no trump. South would open one no trump, North would raise to three no trump. And you can see um that although the computer says you could make 10 tricks there that quite a few people went down in fact the majority of people were defeated on this one um and only three people made three no trump or uh, over trick so i just thought i'd have a look at how this was actually played you can also see that everyone led a low spade um and just have a look at how it was played this is one time it was played where it didn't make and if I click on the link here, you can see how it was actually played. I've just removed people's names here because I don't want to embarrass anyone. But in, in three no Trump, this is how it actually went. And West over here led um, the four of spades, a fourth high spade, which is a normal lead. In fact, the computer is telling you that the slightly strange lead of the 10 of spades um, is actually the best lead for the defense. Now. I would not expect anyone to make that. And it only works out here because it sort of traps the jack uh, and the, the, the 10 fall, the nine falls as well. So the normal lead here would be the, uh, the four of spades. And uh, nearly all the declarers played low from dummy. You can see playing the jack is uh, not good. That says that would just lead to eight tricks for your side. So play low. The queen gets played here, and um, this declarer played the nine. This declarer ducked, and as you can see, it's probably going to lead to a defeat of the contract. So what happened was they um, just carried on in spades. Your ace has to be played now. And now I hope you can see that declarer has no more spade stopper because you've got the single jack in dummy, and that's going to get taken with the king. At this point, you can see that declarer to make the contract is going to, although they can cash diamonds and hearts, they're going to have to play clubs at some point. And when they get in, they're vulnerable to a switch back to space. So this is what happened. They tried taking their diamonds first. They took uh, three rounds, a fourth round of diamonds. And then they led a club. And as long as both defenders have kept their spades, now the contract can't be made. So whatever happens here, uh, East gets in and switches back to a spade. And now, of course, the defense takes the remaining spade tricks. And Declarer just makes uh, eight tricks on this one. OK, so how should it have gone? Uh, let's have a look at one of the times it was um, successfully uh, made. Uh, this one down here, I think. And made an over trick. And again, the bidding and the, um, the play was exactly the same. But this time, they beat the queen with the ace. OK. And now they've got time to, uh, they've got another spade stopper because of the jack there. So um, they played a club here, forced out the ace. And although a spade was played back, um, that just sets up the jack of spades in dummy. This particular defender then stopped playing spades because um, I suppose they thought that they're not going to get in again. They, they tried a diamond, but Declare, of course, won that one, cashed their diamonds, uh, and then uh, played their clubs. At this point, actually, Declare could, they led the nine, they could have, just tried finessing, they didn't. I mean, it works out 
better to finesse here. They they took their king. Okay, but they're still going to make the contract because they've still got stoppers everywhere and they forced out the jack, but whatever gets played back, now their clubs are good and they took the remaining tricks and they got a good score for making uh, 10 tricks there. So um, so that, that was that, really. I just wanted to look at that hand and, and I hope you can see that it is on a layout like this where they lead a low spade that you protect your jack, but only if you beat the, the queen there with your ace. Anyone have any questions or comments on any of that? So let's end the talk there.